Work must be going well then. Yeah, just this week. New boat, new car, overseas holiday. Oh. oh, not to forget the excitement about the diamond ring. Diamond ring? Yeah. And new plasma TV. At QBE, we take your insurance personally. And the new home, it has security? Excellent. With great discounts on your home and contents policies. Well, you can save up to 65% on your household insurance. That's what it means to be QBE insured. Call 133 QBE. Hi, I'm a Rewa agent, and this is what I know. I know I love a round of golf on the weekend with the boys. <laughs> and taking the dogs for a run. I know making your front garden beautiful can add up to 10% to the sale price of your property. I know as a Rewa agent, my knowledge helps you get the best price for your home. I know that Rewa agents are real people with real property knowledge. Find me at Rewa.com. Rewa. Real estate. Real knowledge. Jason Jordan from PC Guru. Jason has been on bonded DSL from IANet now for about two months. Two months. Two months. So let's hear what Jason has to say about bonded DSL. Jason, Fantastic. Really? Yeah. We're done. Thanks really a lot. Good. All right. Now, okay. <laughs> we should talk more. What is this? This is in fact a bonded DSL modem. Yeah. Almost identical to a standard ADSL modem. This is exactly the same unit as we've got at our business. Yeah. The last two months have been phenomenal. We've been on ADSL 2 Plus with IINET for some time. Mm -hmm. Another key interview technique used is behaviour-based interviewing. The theory behind this technique is that the best indicator of future behaviour is past behaviour. When an interviewer asks you to describe a situation in which you were involved, they are looking at how you respond using a specific example. Think STAR. The STAR model breaks answers into three segments. Eyewear. It will suck all of the important information off that machine, including passwords, websites that you've been to, uh, Word documents, Excel documents, all of the important stuff that you might want to keep confidential, or your business might want to keep confidential, will be slurped straight down onto this device, and then I can just walk out of the business with it. And no one really thinks twice about these devices. Uh, Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, members of the Council and staff of the University, distinguished guests, graduates, friends and family. It really is a, an honour to be able to give this address today. Thank you very much for, for having me here. Last week I turned 40, so I climbed a volcano. More about that later. Ten years ago, I was diagnosed with a chronic disease called multiple sclerosis. You'll be surprised to hear that in retrospect, I believe that was possibly the best thing that ever happened to me. So the phone rings, you answer it, and they say, hi, it's you know, Fred from such and such company. Microsoft has told us that there is a fault on your computer or that it's infected, and we would like to fix that for you. IT expert Jason Jordan knows all about the latest computer hacking scam targeting innocent West Australians. His own parents got the call. He says hackers call up, claiming to be from Microsoft, asking people to sign up to a simple program that fixes computer errors. So the next thing, they guide you to a website where you download a small tool that grants them remote access. 